And you can see you can see what he's doing already, working with the feet, making sure. I mean, it all starts with Steve with the footwork. Footwork and leverage. And a nice bar reaction doesn't hurt any. Pete does wear his sunglasses at night, unlike that singer. Corey Hart, somebody like that. I can't remember the guy's name. But evidently, they're working out nicely for Pete. How he advanced to make it to the TV show, the round of 32, then beating Brian in the round of 16. And in the round of eight against Walter Ray, but again with the best average and the best match play, the Ocala, Florida native advanced and was in as the wild card, but ousted by Steve Wilson, 222 to 211. Pete with a strike and now two in a row. Huh? I mean, think Pete's fired up, but fans on his neck getting ready to pop. Watch this ball peel in the back end. That ball's dead flush. Take a look at our cats and our number. Pete's reaction. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> he will, he'll get in your face. Oh, he will. See Wilson using two different balls. Weber. Oh, I'm sorry, Pete Weber. Steve Wilson says, hey, I'm not the only one to work the crowd here. This hasn't reached the intensity of that Ernie Schlegel Patrick Allen match yet, but that was kind of a dogfight, wasn't it? I mean, there was some serious, they were like Ranger fans up there in the blue section going at it. Well, Ernie was trying to use that that old school stuff on Patrick Allen, and Patrick Allen, he would have no part of that, and he took care of Ernie. They were trash great. talking. <laughs> it was a great, exciting match. Wilson loves this format but says it's emotionally draining. Well, he's drawing on some of that drained emotion right now. How about a triple? Stevie's opening up the lane a little bit more than he did his first match. Now, Pete with a strike in the first and a strike in the second using two different balls. Using on the right lane, a little softer reacting. The ball he uses on the left lane is much stronger. So we take a look at our all time leading money winners 2.5 for Walter Ray, 2.2 for Pete Weber. His dad, the legendary Dick Weber, is bowling tonight in a senior event. There is Tracy, Pete's wife. I think the wives sometimes have, have the worst of it, or at least they look like they're more nervous, don't they? <laughs> they do. Wow, solid nine. Nine pins, the last bit of fall. That nine pin would have stood up. Pete would have ran down there and chewed the top of it off. Strike here, we're all even through four. Steve Wilson, right lane. He's a hook. Again, he got it to that zone where the ball's just not going to grab the lane and hook up. Take a look at Stevie's profile and footwork. The key for Stevie's got to keep his angle, his body angle forward. Don't get his shoulders too far back. This ball just too far right. Fortunate, just a little too far. Right now, Stevie's having a little bit of trouble with the approach in that right lane. Weber, up 11. What about the changes that you've noticed that Steve Wilson has made in his game? Worked with Hall of Famer Dave Davis on his body position. He's trying to get his shoulders a little bit more forward, and what that does is it creates a bigger flat spot at the bottom of the swing, and with a bigger flat spot, he's able to repeat his release more often. Right now, Steve's looking at that shot going, why didn't that ball hook back? And why didn't it? 
Well, the only thing the only thing I can say is that he probably threw it a pinch hard. But that that ball was in the right zone, just didn't hook up. Two eight ten. Yeah, it just looked a little bit firm. Need some luck right here. So after three strikes and a spare, open in the fifth. Now the fiery one. Whoever gets a strike here after Wilson's open, you're going to see Mount Vesuvius. Just full blown eruption. Shot. Pity front five. He brings that legendary name, the powerful game, and the fiery demeanor. And it's not an act. I mean, he says, I'm going to be me, and they can like it or lump it. <laughs> Pete's never been one to pull punches. One of the greatest players, in my opinion, that's ever thrown a bowling ball. What a start. Six in a row. Sounds like the Jerry Springer show here, doesn't it? Pete, Pete, Pete. We are live at the Great Lakes Classic. They're on their feet. Pete Weber, six strikes in a row. What a start. This was the last strike by Pete Weber, number six. And the react. <laughs> Get out of his way. Take a look real quick at what Pete Weber's done with our Kegel Training Center CAT system, computer-aided tracking system. The right lane, he's, remember, he's using a ball that's weaker, a little bit further right. Stevie didn't like the way he threw that ball. The ball just set up and laid right there in the one three. Over his shoulder when he was getting ready. You might have seen the two wives talking. They're actually seated side by side, Tracy and Sarah Wilson. Tracy Weber. So after open in the fifth. When your opponent has rolled six strikes in a row, how do you stay in it? Start striking and put some heat on him. Get up in his face, maybe do a little trash talking like Patrick Allen did last night. Try to get your opponent flustered. Come on. No! A little Tomahawk 10 action for Steve Wilson. Sure's like, come on. Touch of class there. You saw Tracy Weber applauding. <laughs> yes, well, she's. The Webers are class acts, but take a look at this. Watch the six pin lay in the gutter and just lean on the six, on the ten. What a great break. He goes, yeah. I love his reactions. Beat now for his seventh in a row. Come on. He can get the ten out with the best of them. Pete Weber front seven. There have been 14 televised perfect games in the history of the PBA. Take a look from the pit. Six pin goes to the wall, crushes the ten and a half. Right now, Pete Weber, four strikes away, five strikes away, excuse me, from perfection. That shootout match at the National Bowling Stadium Open in Reno. Maybe tonight. <laughs> He's having a little fun. What do you think, Jim? 
No secret here, Stevie's got a strike. Come on, there you go. Says, I'm gonna make this guy Weber earn it. See Wilson strikes out, he's got a possible 255. We all know what Pete's doing. I think the interesting thing we want to look for when Pete gets up is that Pete told us last night the best thing he can do when he gets up on the approach is just put his hand in his ball and go. Don't stand on the approach forever. Put your hand in your ball and just throw it. Just go. The worst thing Steve Wilson can do is $10,000. Come on. There's another $10,000 bonus here in this new elevated PBA. $140,000 or 140% the prize money's up. A perfect game. Gets another 10. Yeah, Pete was saying last night, just get up and bowl. Don't think. His tendency when he starts to make bad shots is to overthink. Puts his hand in his ball. Watch how fast he goes. He's going to put his hand in his ball. He's going to look at his target, and he's just going to go. Get a good feel. Get a good grip. His wife Tracy watching on. Wow. <laughs> Not short on reaction, is he? Watch the back end. This is why Pete Reber ro ro rotates his hand around the ball to get this ball to hook in the back end. I don't know if it can get much better than that.